In this video, we're going to show you how to successfully install your pizza oven onto a countertop using a crane or telescopic forklift. You will ideally have three people assisting with this installation. The first person is the crane operator. The second person should have some experience working with a crane. If you or no one on site has that experience, you can elect to ask the crane company to send a rigger with them. Finally, you will want the third person to act as an extra set of hands to help. As always, you want to be very careful when using a crane to install our pizza ovens. Go slow and listen to the operator's instructions. You will need the following items to install your oven with a crane onto a countertop. An adjustable wrench, four blocks, ideally between four to six inches squared. These are used to block the oven up on the countertop so you can remove your crane rigging. We recommend using high duty, non-slip furniture pads. We will include an Amazon link to the ones we use in this video below. On a side note, we could only locate three of these for the video, so we used wood blocks as a substitute for the fourth block. Four shackles. If you are working with a crane company, they should be able to provide these. You will want to use shackles that are either 3 quarters or 5 eighths. Four straps. Like the shackles, these will be provided by the crane company. We prefer to use 12 to 15 foot straps with our ovens, and don't recommend going below 8 foot length as it becomes very difficult to turn the oven and make fine tune adjustments when you are ready to set it on the countertop. Our recommendation is to always use four straps versus two. All right, so now that the oven's all rigged up, it's ready to get connected to the crane hook. Uh, before that, it's important to make sure these shackles right here are in this position versus say that position. Um, that ensures that when things go up, if you look here and get in close on this shot, if this were to come up and the shackle was down, it could get kind of caught around the shackle bolt around here and lift up that way. So by kind of making sure it's this way, it's gonna get a clean, pick like that okay all right so we got our hook more or less center here we're gonna connect our four straps doesn't really matter which one you start with uh, but what I was saying earlier you want to make sure that this slack isn't gonna get caught on anything and you want to make sure your shackles are positioned the right way so as you can see here our slack you know doesn't really look like it's gonna catch anything and our shackles in the right position now this bolt right here that definitely, you know, these straps, if you, let's say I just leave it right here, you can see as he starts pulling, this could come up and kind of get caught under there. So you want to keep an eye out for that. I kind of just push it to the side here. And you know, same thing with right here. I kind of keep it in between and just keep an eye on it when it's going up and have the operator go up nice and slow. You want to kind of keep these in the order you put them on. You don't want this second one kind of overlapping back here or anything like that as best you can. Kind of keep them in order as you set them on so we got the first one i did here second one then third and fourth are going to go here all right so now we have all four uh straps hooked to the hook there uh, we're gonna do a once over before the operator does anything we're gonna do a visual inspection here make sure our slack isn't look like it's gonna obviously get caught on anything. Our, sh our shackles there in the right position. We're good, we're good here. Now we're gonna have the operator come up real slow. We're gonna have the operator come up real slow and we're gonna, we're gonna visually watch all four of these as best we can. All right, so he's going up nice and slow. I'm watching my slack here. Everything looks good on this side. Oh, I'm gonna have him stop. Stop, that's the stop signal. And you can see right here, now, if he kept going, he'd probably get caught on this. So we're gonna pull him out of that. 
That other side looked good, so I'm gonna hold these while he goes up. Okay, so our slack is at a point now where it's fine. Have him stop so we can look through things. Good, good. Good, good. And now, depending on what you have in the surrounding area, um, you know, you may wanna put a hand on this as it goes up. Um, if it's nice and clear like this is now, there really is no need. Um, so at this point, we're gonna have him lift it up. All right, so I like to do a visual inspection at this point. Just gotta make sure everything looks right. One corner isn't leaning one far, to, or it's not going forward or backwards. It's more or less looks level to me. Obviously at no point are you getting under this oven or is anybody getting under this oven. If it's going over a home, obviously nobody should be inside the house. Um, and at no point should anyone ever get underneath, directly underneath this oven. All right, so what we're doing now is we're simulating installing an oven on a countertop. We're using our flatbed truck to, to simulate the countertop. These are the tools you're gonna need at this point once you get here. Uh, you're going to need your four blocks that we showed you earlier, and you're going to need your wrench here. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to get the oven more or less where we want it on the countertop. And at that point, we're going to place our blocks. We're going to get it nice and low, and we're going to place our blocks down where we're going to set the oven and block it so we can remove the rigging. Um, it's good to have two people for this. Uh, you're going to want one person to hold the oven steady to where it's going so it doesn't turn when you get the right angle in the right location. And the other person is gonna set the blocks. So ideally you're gonna have two people to help you in this situation. Okay, so at this point we have our helper here who's gonna hold the oven once we get it where we want it. And I'm gonna go ahead and place the blocks down so we can set the oven on it. All right. Okay, so We've decided this is, the, this is where we want the oven. It's lined up, it's straight, it's where we want on the countertop. So at this point, you're gonna have one person hold it. You have it, okay? So he's gonna hold it tight in this position. I'm gonna have the crane operator come down just so he's, he's just a few inches off my countertop so I can get the most accurate placement on my blocks. So we're good there. That's about how high we wanna be. It's not too high and we can put our blocks in. So here's the trick with the blocks. You want to make sure that these are going to um, not get stuck under the rigging. They need to just be under the oven, but they need to be outwards enough that you can pull it out. Um, but you know, you don't want it too far in either. And then you won't be able to get a good grab, grasp on it. Obviously be very careful with your fingers here and putting them under the oven. Um, so we're going to put one, a first one here. That's a pretty good place. You know, this is where we want to support right here. So we're going to put it right there. And then we're basically going to put it on the same side on every corner. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to put that right there. Hopefully you can see that. So that's right there. And here go my back ones. Right here. And right here. Okay, so we're going to have our operator come down now on our hand signal. And uh, we're going to check and make sure all four of those blocks caught. And if they did, we're good to go. Okay, we want them all the way down. So all the tension's off. Okay, so we saw these went kind of limp here. That should mean that we're fully off. And now what you can do is you can do an inspection on these, this rigging to make sure these blocks are blocked up high enough so we can remove it. I grab them and if I can kind of get any kind of movement on them, that usually means we're good and clear, that one looks good. And we'll go to this side. This one's definitely clear. The other one was wiggling a little bit. So we'll find out here if we're able to get it out, but we should. I mean, if it's moving at all, it's a good sign. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to um, remove the uh, straps and the shackles. That's next step. So we'll do that now. Go from the Okay, so now uh, we have all four of our shackles off and we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna remove our crane rigging here by going at the bolt in the middle.
Okay, so now I'm gonna fully remove the rigging. Keep this bolt nearby, you're gonna need it. Let's do the other side. Very cool. Move this. Okay. So at this point we have our rigging off, but our oven is still on blocks and we need to get the blocks out. And this is where things get a little technical. Um, I'll tell you what we're gonna do first and then you'll see it. So essentially, we're gonna want the operator to center himself over the bolt hole in the oven, over here, right there. We're gonna center him over that. Doesn't matter, you can start on the left side or the right side. We're gonna put the bolt back in and he is going, we're gonna loop one strap around this bolt and he's gonna lift up very slowly, just enough, so we can pull our blocks out of this side. Um, and then he's gonna set it back down, and now this side is off the blocks, and we, re we repeat on the other side, and you're done. So, the thing about this, you definitely want to um, show your operator your plan here and what you're doing, make sure they're comfortable with it. Um, you know, uh, and just make sure you get the go ahead from them that they're comfortable doing that. Um, and as long as they go slow and you're very careful, it should work out great. Doesn't need to go too far in. See about inch and a half, maybe two inches. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna line our operator up so he's centered on the bolt. We don't wanna leave him where he is now because he's centered on the oven. And if we loop one of those straps around, it's gonna put a lot of pressure. The strap's gonna put some pressure on the oven. We want him right over the center of that bolt right there. Um, ideally, you're gonna have two people here again. Uh, and the reason for that is when they lift it up, you wanna get those out as quick as possible and you don't want them to go too high or you'll lose your center mark on here and the oven might start moving on you a little bit. Um, for this video, we're just gonna do it with me and I'll show you how one, one person can do it. So, okay, at this point, we're gonna get our operator. You know, it's good to touch base. You know, hey, let the crane operator know. All right, the oven's set, it's on blocks. We're, doing, we're gonna get the blocks out. Um, our operator's right here. He has a clear line of sight. So we're just gonna direct him. We're gonna verbally kind of let him know we're getting him center over the bolt and direct him if he needs some help. All right, so we're gonna center you over the bolt on the side and then we'll lift up just enough to get the uh, blocks out. We'll set it down and repeat. Cool. All right, he's good. So, I'd say he's about there. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna loop one right there. We're going to hold the slack on this and the other three while he comes up. And once we feel the tension, we're going to stop him and get ready to pull these bolts out or these blocks out. All right. Have him stop. We've got tension here. Okay. The loose straps aren't going to catch on anything. This isn't going to catch on anything. So at this point, we're going to have him come up real slow and I'm going to grab those blocks. I'll start with my hand on one of them, and then I'll move to the other one as soon as I'm free. Stop them. That's just enough. I'm gonna hop over here, pull out. And now if you need to make any adjustments at this point, you can do a little bit. So if we lost the spot and we came forward, we can kind of put some pressure on here and push it backwards and come forwards, but not too much. Um, but you know, if you need to make fine adjustments at this point, you have a little wiggle room, but really you want to get back down as soon as possible. So, okay. So he's going to come down now and give us some slack and we're going to do it on the other side. Hold. And we're going to pull our block, pull our block, let him know we're good to come down. All right, and now uh, we're all done, we're all clear. Let them know we're done, go like this. This means you're fully clear to go straight up and be done. Next thing we do, we pop these uh, bolts out and you're done. Your oven is set on your countertop with a crane.